Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are gonna be making electric pressure cooker old-fashioned meatloaf. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Meatloaf. Stop touching me, Mom! Three, two, one. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And Aunt Lou. And we got another recipe for you from RecipesThatCrock.com. And today we're going to be making... Electric pressure cooker old-fashioned meatloaf. Meatloaf See? in a few minutes. In fact, less than an hour. It's not one of them recipes Ooh. for a foodie Friday where you go, Mmm, I know what I'd like to have today. I'd like to have some meatloaf. But I don't want to sit and watch it bake in the oven for hours and hours and hours. Or I don't even know how long it takes to cook in an oven no more because we never use it. <laughs> but this is a way to make a meatloaf in just under an hour. That's mm -hmm. prep time. That's cook time. That's serving time should take you less than an hour. Mm -hmm. and in order to do that, we're going to need some ingredients. Like, I don't know, a little bit of cow, a little bit of egg, a little bit of oats or crackers. Goes a little something like this. Oh, and foil. We're going to show you that here in a minute. You need a pound of ground cow. You need a half of a large onion that you diced up. I would do this one a little more fine than a chop. And then I would also do a cup of uh, the quick cooking oats or the old, old fashioned, fashioned old fashioned oats. Yeah, or if you want to, you could also use crackers, crumbled, crumbled up some, crackers. Some cr like saltines, you know, something to, that's a binder that's going to hold everything together. Mm -hmm. You want one egg, you want a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, you want a half a cup of ketchup, and then also what's not pe featured here is going to be a cup of water, but we're going to use that cup right there because, you know, conservation. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to put all these ingredients minus the ketchup, set that to the side. That's your, uh, well, kind of like your icing on your meat cake, if you know what I'm saying. But all the rest of these ingredients, I am going to put them together okay. while Lou shows you how to make a loaf boat. That's right. The loaf boat. Making some meatloaf just for you. The loaf bowl. Meatloaf dinner just for two. Anybody ever watch the show? Not loaf boat, but love boat. Captain uh, Steubing, remember? All day, every day. Isaac, works. the bartender, he was so cool. And gopher? Anyway, I'll put this together while she shows you a loaf boat. Go ahead, Lou. Alright, so you want to take your foil. Put it down into your insert so you can know how big it needs to be and just kind of press it down so you got your links and then you take and you just fold so it has nice deep sides all the way around. You're waterproofing your loaf boat. Yep. And so... You don't want to get water in your loaf boat. That would be a titanic mistake. Oh my word. <laughs> The puns just keep on coming. They do. Look at that loaf boat. Look at that. So professional, Lou. Uh huh. And so. And all I'm going to do is take this and mix it up with my hands. My clean hands, by the way. And so I'm just going to. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just. We you want it so that you can form that into a loaf, and that will not get wet from the water you're going to put in here. Because we're doing this in a pressure cooker, we're doing ours in our foodie. And when you pressure cook something, because you have it's to foodie have. Friday. That's exactly right. Celebrate! <laughs> you have to have some liquid in there in order for that to come up the pressure. Mm -hmm. But you don't want the liquid getting in your meatloaf. Nobody wants it. No. You know, meatloaf soup just really does not sound that good. Not without a lot of alterations. No. <laughs> Maybe someday. Somebody's out there going, well, you could make a meatloaf soup. Oh, well, I was just thinking you could make a meatloaf soup. That's but somebody's me. Not today. No, that's not what we're doing today. So I got everything mixed up. You got your loaf boat all together. I got a pretty loaf boat. And then Look, you wanna... it's crock time on Cooking Chris's Dishes. And he thought it was all just about crock pot and instant pot and foodie recipes, but not today. Oh, we're no. doing crack time. And then I know one of the other things you need to do, according to Lou's blog post, is you need to spray that down. You want a, we call this a greased loaf boat. Which I thought was just a funny name. <laughs> Man, this is messier than a grease loaf boat. That's my new saying. We'll butter my biscuits. 
All right, I got her all mixed up there, what didn't fall out onto the counter. But look at that. All right. Well, I can't show you because my hands are dirty, but... Yeah. So, got lots of onions for he, sure. He's got lots a, of onion. That's a half of an onion. If onion. you don't like that much onion, I don't blame you. But then see how the the oats have gone in there, and that's what's holding that it meatloaf together. together. Now, there's a lot of people out there going, I know how to make a meatloaf. Well, some people may not, and they're like, why would you put oatmeal in a meatloaf? That's why, because you want to hold this together. The oats are like the love. Love. Love will keep us together. How's that? That look good? Yeah. Looks like a big old meat football. Now make it into a loaf in your boat. The loaf. How's that? You're going to be singing that all day, aren't you? Yes, I am. It's going to be stuck in my head. And yours, too. How's that? Is that good? You like that? Is that, uh, is that to lose specification of a loaf in a loaf boat? Make it a little bit thinner. A little bit thinner. I wish I could do that to me. <laughs> so you just press down on me. Yeah, just mush me a little bit. <laughs> and then, of course, one thing I learned from Aunt Lou is, and you learned that from your mama, right? Yep, mama always put a line down the middle. There you go. And then, you know what? I got dirty hands. Who cares? Let's just do that. Let's put the ketchup. Spread some love. On this is fun. See, we did crafts. Now we're going to do painting. It's finger painting with ketchup and raw meat. Yeah. So <laughs> I will not be licking my fingers. I will be washing no. my hands as soon as I'm done here. Yes. And then, Lou, you can have the honor of putting that the boat in there. In the foodie. Okay. And I will wash everything off of my hands. So. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine is not perfect. Um, we're just gonna put it up nice and tall on the sides. And I got some of that ketchup on me, so why don't you get a cup of water while I wash my hands? I will get a cup of water. And then one thing whenever you do this is you wanna make sure the water goes around the loaf boat. And not in the loaf boat. And not in the loaf boat. So, we're going to do her. <laughs> My camera's upside down. Everybody's like, oh, are you standing on your head doing that? <laughs> I'm just going to take it and put it down there in the bottom. See how I'm putting that along the pot right there? You can actually dump the water in before you put the loaf boat in. That's fine. But you just want to make sure and not get it in the yep. loaf boat. Yep. Or else you'll have to throw your loaf boat a lifeboat. Anyway, so now yeah, we're going to close the lid. Fell off there. Yeah, yeah. Some of them work, some of them don't. <laughs> So I'm going to turn on my foodie, and we're going to do this on high pressure. Pressure. Oh, wait. You better get the pressure on <laughs> the lid then, huh? People out there commenting right now going, you can't use that lid. <laughs> this way. Just like that. Make no, sure it's set to seal, seal and not vent. Seal. <laughs> or, 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 or. A lot of people like that last time. So uh, let's do this. Let's go on. And pressure. It says pot. I think anybody will notice that it's shorter. Yeah. <laughs> it just shrunk. Okay, so we grabbed the wrong foodie, folks. Right, okay, now we got the right pot, so now we put the lid on. Oh my gosh. And they call themselves professional. And so now I'm going to turn on my foodie. I'm going to put it on pressure. Hi. hi. It's so friendly. It is. It's, look, at that. look at that. You put it on, it says, hi, hi, hi. hi. Like a three-year-old when they first meet you. Uh, that's what and then we're going to do this for 30 minutes. Yep. And then hit start. Oh, did you put that on seal? I did. Okay. And so now it's going to come out to pressure. It's going to ride that pressure for 30 minutes. And then you want to naturally release it once it's done. So make sure that your warmer is off. Let it naturally release for 15 minutes. Take the rest of that pressure off and serve it, and we and, will see you. And we'll show you a special little trick you can do with your foodie. Little, little movie magic, little foodie magic in three, two, one. 30 minutes have come and gone, plus the 15 minutes of the pressure to natural release. Popped off the vent, it was ready to go, and this is what you get in about 45 minutes. You get a lid that gets stuck to the pot. And then you get a 
Look at that. Look at that wonderful meatloaf. Now you see that liquid at the bottom? That is just the fat and the juices from the meat. Mm -hmm. Because Lou made the perfect meat boat that is watertight. You could sail that sucker. <laughs> and now we're going to go on to the next step. And that next step is for me not to burn my fingers. If you want. You don't gotta. But you if could, you want. You could totally just have it this way. Mm -hmm. um, would you grab me a paper plate? And what I'm going to do is put on my handy dandy Swedish chef gloves. More, more, more. <laughs> and I'm going to, actually I could probably do that without the yeah, well, well, the edges. Yeah, I don't want to take any chances. And then I'm going to put... Oh, you're breaking my meat load. Oh, no, the meat boat. Meat boat. That's going to go there. There's just a little bit of water in here. I'm just going to get rid of it real quick, right in the sink. Now, the next step we can do is I'm going to grab a rack. You can do this in your broiler if you want to. Do it in the oven. Yeah, you want to get rid of that off. ketchup this right side, there. We don't need that on there. And I'm going to take my meat boat. I should be able to grab this now. It should be fine. Yeah. And I want to set it right here on the top. I want to check too, because we're this is an experiment we're doing on camera. Live mm -hmm. for the first time. You know what we're going to do? Can we're going to go. The rack we're going to have to go right? low with the rack. So uh, I'm going to nope. take that there rack. I'm going to flip it like that. We'll go on the low side of it and then take the meat boat back in there. And we're going to broil this. You could probably do air fry as well, either way. We're going to try the but broiler the feature. the foodie has a broil. It does. So we're so going to try it. So I'm going to close my lid and I'm going to broil this. I don't know for how long, so I'm going to set it for five minutes. It probably oh. won't take that long because all we want to do is kind of caramelize that ketchup. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to set it for five just so I got the heat going and I'm going to check this every minute. But you're going to see it when it's done in three, two, one. And the time is up. Now, when we did this, I set it for five minutes and five minutes. I didn't really care for it. I thought it could go a little longer. But he was checking it every, every minute. minute. Because so I've never really broiled except eat. for steak. I've done a steak in here. Kind of know what to do. But when it comes to ketchup and stuff like that, where you're trying to get a little bit of a, a scald, if you will, on there, kind of caramelize it. I wanted to check it every minute, so I just lift the lid real quick, put it down, and it actually took about nine and a half minutes to get what I think is good, and this is what I think is good. Yeah. You can see that got a little, see how that darkened up and caramelized there? I could have went a little bit longer, but I got scared. Well, and I get this from Dad. Um, I actually like burnt meatloaf. Like, I like the edges that are oh, burnt. I like it. Absolutely. And so that's it. what Dad always wanted. Mom always had to burn the edges of her meatloaf. And so, um, now, however, if you are doing this in your oven's broiler, nine minutes and you will have a lump You'll have of a, yeah, char. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you're trying to be Santa Claus, you want to give yourself a lump of coal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. And then it just comes straight out just like that. I didn't even need that paper plate. There you go. Close my lid. Uh, well, you probably will to cut it. Yeah. Well. I will. Um, Look at that. Get, get, get show, a picture oh, of that. Gotta see that one more time. Or Check a this. video of that. Meatloaf. No, my, no, my. That's so good. Yeah, because uh, I don't want to cut that, so I will. Now, foil doesn't get too hot, so that's fine. Um, but like I was saying, if you're doing this in. That does. <laughs> it's not a cooking show until Mikey burns himself. Um, <laughs> Guess we could stop now. That worked. <laughs> If you're doing this in your oven's broiler, then you will want to, I'd say, anywhere from 30 seconds to 90 seconds. And um, I always say I squat and watch. I squat down in front of the um, oven and have the light on with the broiler, and I watch it. And I do not take my eyes off of it no, because... don't go mow your yard. Um, it, it can go in just a very short amount of time. It can go from perfection to disaster. Let's see if this is perfection or disaster right here. Ooh, look, look at that. That ketchup is sticky. That's good. I want that burnt piece. I'm going to come up here and show you real quick. Imagine that. Look at this. I put that in there in the foodie broiler for just a few minutes. And look, see those little, little brownish marks right there where it browned up? That's going to make it crispy. Mm. It gives it a skin, if you will. Mmm. Mm. Oh, Mama would be dude! <laughs>
I wanted Oh the... my gosh, that meatloaf is killer, man. Don't you think Mama would approve? Mm hmm. Mm. Those oats with that egg making that binder keep everything held really, really well together. So that would be really good for meatloaf sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Because it does not. Like, this does not fall apart. You pull it and it stays together. Mm. Yeah, this is something that, like, kids, mm -hmm. adults, cranky people, oh everybody's going to like. Meatloaf sandwiches would be good. Mm -hmm. Meatloaf on its own, maybe with some green beans, maybe with some mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Instant Pot good mashed job. potato, the no mash ones, because those are so simple to make. And and, and don't use metal in your foodie pot, because then you get in trouble. Yeah. But that is really good. Y'all definitely want to try that mm -hmm. because, as you see, I took the last bite. That's, that's that good. Burr, 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 burr. That's meatloaf. You'll fight your family over. See what I mean? I didn't say fine with me. <laughs> if y'all like what you're seeing here, uh, it could be me burning myself. It could be an amazing <laughs> meatloaf. It could be this sucker when she comes into town. Whatever it may be, if you like what you're seeing, give us a like down below. Also. If you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, click the subscribe button. Join our family! You will be a part of an ever-growing crowd of people that love food and travel and fun and family and love. And also, if you want to know when we put up a new video, click the bell called the... ding a -ling. Right next to the subscribe button. You click that, you'll know as soon as we put up a new video. We put them up all the time. But most importantly, whatever you do. Laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Get out of my way. That was not life! This Bye. is me, both. <laughs> Speak loaf. Feed me some more. Look, a talking ninja. Three, <laughs> two. I thought they were supposed to be silent. No, those are monks. Oh. Or mimes. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Three, two. Stop touching my hand. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.